William Johnson is the artist we're looking at today. Is an American painter who worked during the Harlem Renaissance. He moved to New York when he was 17 to study at the National Academy of Design. Though he explored several different styles during his career, he is known best for his folk art style of painting, which featured bright, flat colors, simplified shapes, and dark black outlines. He lived in Scandinavia as a young adult, where he was inspired by a strong folk art tradition that influenced his folk art style. Besides his iconic still lifes, his work often featured scenes of daily life. Let's get started creating our own still life inspired by William Johnson. Let's begin by creating the background. On a brown piece of paper, please draw around a circle shape. Once you've drawn around that circle shape, we're gonna use this as our plate. So I'll use an ink dauber to get those strong black lines. Going around my pencil line, and I'm going to create another circle inside, giving it more of a plate-like image. Let's go ahead and take a moment, we'll cut that out, and glue that down to a piece of paper. When you finish cutting it out, you can also grab a sheet of white paper that's in a triangle. I'll have that pre-cut for you, and using your ink dauber, let's use that to create the folded piece of cloth to go with our still life. Now, choosing a background color, I'm just going to set this aside to use as the background of my project. Let's begin making our fruit. You'll grab one of these idea sheets and start thinking about different kinds of fruit. Feel free to use the idea sheet or create other fruit that's not on there. You'll notice I took three cool colors and three warm colors. I wanna make sure to have all of the colors of the color wheel for my fruit um, display. Once I drew it out in pencil, it made the ink dauber a lot easier to um, go over. So I did some purple grapes, some blue, blue blueberries. I did a green apple, some red cherries, an orange orange, and a yellow banana. You can probably think of other fruits, can't you? Like maybe red strawberries, red tomatoes, um, let's see, yellow lemons, green limes. Think of all the different kinds of fruit there are out there. Purple plums. And feel free to use whatever kinds of fruit that you want on your project. Now, I'm taking a white oil pastel to give it a little bit of highlight on each fruit so that it looks more like a form instead of a flat object. You'll notice that I'm not coloring the whole thing in, just creating a little bit of highlight when the light hits the fruit so it looks really shiny and ready to go. Now, I set that aside and started cutting them out so that I'd be ready to arrange them onto my project. Once I've cut them out, I'm going to lay them in the order of the color wheel, just making sure that I have all six colors, red, orange, yellow, green, blue, purple. You can glue those down now or arrange them any way that visually looks best to you. Start thinking about where you want to put them. Once you've figured out an arrangement, let's go ahead and start gluing our pieces onto our background paper. Notice, when I put glue onto my still life, I'm not putting a huge puddle of glue. Instead, I'm focusing on putting glue on the edge of my project rather than just the middle. Focus on the edge of your project and glue that down. There, I like the way this looks, but I started thinking later when I glued all my pieces down that my fruit looks pretty good, but I thought, oh, I'm gonna go ahead and add a few more pieces of fruit to the project just so that it's more full and interesting. There, that looks better. Thanks for watching. Happy art making.